Today is Saturday, August 20th, 2022. It is also day 397 of WebDev, and today I'm going to do something similar to what I did yesterday, but with a little different design, and I'm going to use this um, SVG from onDraw.co. And yep, that's literally it. So I'm going to go to my replit, and this is what I have so far. I just created a new one. I haven't written anything. Only thing is, I'm just going to delete this, um, and that's it. So I'm going to start with my... Oh, I'm also, I'm also going to delete this. Okay. I'm going to start with my body tag here. So inside, I'm just going to do a div and class container. All right. And then I'm going to run that, whatever. So now in CSS, I'm going to go here and I'm going to target the container. So I'll give it a border of five pixels and then black and then solid all right run that and i'll be able to see that but it's kind of like a block because there's no height there's nothing within the container so i'm going to give it a height of 100 vh run that all right and now that that's that i can see that there's like margin um because there's space between you know the actual screen and the container so i want to zero that out so what i'll do is i'll do margin and zero that out and zero out also the padding um, which is the stuff on the inside, not the stuff, the spacing on the inside. Um, so the margin zero gets rid of the space on the outside of the border of the container. And then what I'll do is I'll also do box sizing and I'll set that to border box. And what that does is just what, let's say like I give, um, like a, a div, a certain padding, instead of giving, like, instead of making the div bigger, the div will stay the same size. And then what's inside the div will constrict to confirm or con what, how do you say it? Confirm? Con conform with that padding so it kind of just helps with the layout of your page and the padding and margin stuff i will get back to this one day so um okay so that's it for the container pretty boring but let's go inside the container so in the container i want two things i want a header and a showcase so the header is where it's going to be my logo and my navigation bar and the showcase is going to contain my content and the background image so i'll do div class set it equal to header and then I'll go here and inside the header I'll do div um, and I'll do ID logo because there's only going to be one logo and technically there's one thing of everything on this site um, but I just prefer classes over logos because it better be safe than sorry because sometimes when you use IDs it kind of messes with the hierarchy of things and the priorities um, so the logo is just going to be an H1 and it's just going to say logo for now and then the next thing would be the navigation bar. So I'll do div class and I'll give it a class of nav bar and and that class there. And then, whoops, and so a navigation bar would consist of a list, right? So a list of links. And so first I'll do an unordered list because that is um, basically a list that's that has bullet points instead of numbers. If you want a list that has numbers then do an OL, which is an ordered list. Um, so each list has a list item regardless if it's an ordered list or not and i want each of my list items to contain an a tag which is going to lead to nowhere and is going to say link all right um and then if i run that i'll see the first link over here so i'll just copy that a few more times and basically an a tag is just a link the href is where it leads to hashtag means nowhere or just like a placeholder and then what's in here is what you're going to see on the screen. And if I click on it, right, it's going to lead to nowhere because, again, I told it to go nowhere. So that's that. Now, the next thing would be the showcase. So after the header um, is the showcase. All right, so that's the header in here. So let me delete the space over here. And then the showcase. So div class showcase and div okay so the showcase um is just going to contain some content so i'm going to do class content and um this site is going to be like about like writing i don't know like a tool for writers and so what i'll do is i'll have a h1 that says kind of like um let's see um write less earn more or something like that and then i'll have like a paragraph um, at the bottom and be like, um, let me think, what could I say? 
write less, earn more, discover, discover, um, discover the AI tool, or maybe dip your pen. Does that make sense? Dip your pen, dip, dip your pen in our AI tools designed just for you. Just for you to increase design just designed to increase the quality of your writing or maybe to increase the income the earnings the earnings of your writing all right maybe that's a good catchphrase or call to action uh, well really the call to action is going to be the button over here um, so then over here, I'll do an A tag, href that leads to nowhere, and I'm going to label it, um, explore, not label it, but say explore, okay. So that's pretty much it, and then finally the image, which is going to be a div also, I'll call it, I'll call it class image, and, um, I'll just, oh my god, okay. I don't really want to put anything in here because really the image that I'm going to use, I'm just going to upload it within uh, CSS. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to upload the actual image. It's this one over here um, and I'm going to call it image, not you image, image. All right, and then I'm going to go to my CSS. Now here's the fun part. I'm going to give everything a border because that's literally what I do because if I don't have borders, um, things just go haywire. Like I can't like make sense of anything so black solid let's do that um i'll also give a border to the showcase the content what else do i need in the border the image so i'll change that to showcase content and then image all right run that all right okay so let's start so first i like to start with the header because it's the easiest for me let me just open this up over here so this is what it's looking like so far um so the header the header the header the header so currently the header if i look in the html the header is within the container and is kind of sharing space with the um with the with the showcase and I don't want that. So I want it to kind of be above the showcase. So what I'll do is I'll give it a position um, of absolute, right? And then I'll make sure that it has a width of 100%, right? So let me reload. So that's what it's looking like now. And then just to kind of get rid of the stuff at the top, what I'll do is I'll go to the showcase and I'll give it a display of flex because I want the stuff to be at the center so it's not at the top. So I'll do display flex. And then because I set the showcase as a flex container, then anything within the showcase is going to become a flex item. And then because those things are flex items, they're going to be under the dominion of, that's like such a weird word, under the dominion, like under the control or under the rule of um, these flex properties that I write in the showcase. So for example, justify content would be one and center. So that would so that, that would just center the content um, horizontally. And if I run that, you'll see, well, not really, but let me do this one, which is align items. It's gonna be more evident center. If I do that, it's going to move all the way down, right? Or not all the way down, but um, all the way to the center horizontally and vertically. Um, but the reason it's not moving to the center of the screen is because the showcase currently doesn't have, let me just change the color of the showcase. Currently, it doesn't have a height that's 100% of the screen. So that's why, although it is in the center, it's not like in the center of the screen like I want it to. So what I'll do to fix that is just give the showcase a height 100%. And then you'll see what I'm talking about, of how like, um, it, hold up, I can't even speak while I'm writing. Um, how it uh, shows that it, it goes all the way to the center like so right perfect and now I don't see it at the top so the header I'm going to go back to the header and I'm going to give it a height of 80 pixels and let's see what that looks like okay beautiful and then what I'll do is I'll go to the image and I'll actually I have this color over here I don't even remember which one I used okay this one it's this one 
and I believe it's too small for me to see. I'm so blind. Um, it's 09E85E, right? That's the color that I'm using. And I'm just going to set the background of the header to be that color. So why am I here? CSS. Okay. So I'm going to go up here and do background and do hex and then just paste that in there. And then why did that happen? Okay, run. And then it's going to become that color. And so far, that's what I'm looking at right now. All right. So. Okay, so now I'm going to deal with the navigation bar. So the navigation bar currently is all the way to the left to the left of the screen. I need it to be, first of all, on the header, like it's not even on the header, um, and to the right. So um, to do that, I'm going to go and look at the header, right, which is a green background box. And I'm going to set it so that it has a display of flex also because when I do that, by default, there's this property called flex direction. And flex direction can either be set to the row or column. And what it does, it controls all of the flex items and the direction that they are placed in. So the logo and the navigation bar are both flex items because they're within the flex container of the header, right? So because of that, I set display flex. Oh my God. Okay, as I was saying, um, be, so the navigation bar and the logo are both flex items because they're within the header, which is a flex container. And by default, um, display flex has a property called flex direction that is set to row. Um, and that's why the flex items, which is the logo and the navigation bar, are now moved onto the same row. But if I want them to be on the same column, like on top of each other, then I would just change as a column. And then that would just go back to how you like it was originally. But um preferably i would do row and i don't even need to write it because by default it is row so i could delete that and it'll stay like that now the actual other problem is that it's all the way to the left i need it to be all the way to the right so because the header is a display flex it makes it easy for me to do this so i can just do justify content and instead of center i'm going to do space between and that's going to put space between the logo and the um, navigation bar as you can see um uh so yeah so space between the two flex items but notice that it's actually like way to the right so i need there to be some padding or actually some yeah some padding beef like to the left and to the right of the header itself so i'll go to the header and i'll click on not click but write the padding property and i'll just do the way that it is it's like the first value is top and bottom the second value is left and right so i want zero padding for the top and bottom and then i want 20 pixels or maybe actually even 40 pixels let's see what that looks like left and right right so that's not good so how about Top and bottom left and right, 10 pixels. But the bigger that I make this, the more that happens. So how about, instead of doing that, let me see if I could just target the, where's the logo? The logo itself, first of all, let me give it a border, five pixels, solid black, um, and then let me give it, I could also do margin left for the logo, and then do something like 40, 30 pixels or something, so that moves to the left like that, but then where is the padding again? So I deleted it, right? Yep, okay, good. So that's going to look something like that but then i can do the same thing for the navigation bar if i could just target it i don't have it targeted yet so dot nav bar by the way because a logo is an id i use the hashtag to access the id through css um and then dots for note um for classes so for the nav bar i would do margin uh from the right and do 30 pixels so i should move to the left there we go beautiful 
All right, so now that's working. But here's the thing, before you're even doing that, let me actually kind of finish developing the navigation bar. So first of all, the navigation bar has the same problem. All of the links are on top of each other and I want them to be next to each other, like in the same row. So same thing, I'm going to actually do dot nav bar um, UL and I'm going to do a display of flex and then just run it and then the they should be on the, the, in the same row but then it's a little bit close to each other so i'll do gap and give it a gap of like let's say 2 em which is equivalent to uh 32 pixels i think um reload that okay so now it's looking like that now what i'll do is i want to make sure that it's at the center like the actual unordered list so i'll go to the navigation bar and give this a display of flex and then just do justify, actually align item center is really what I want to move it um, to the center vertically. So that's going to move it down like that. And then onto the styling. So I'm going to go back to my HTML and I'm going to go here to all of my links and just give them a class of link. All right, so I'll do that over here. Class of link. And then I'll also do that for this one also at the bottom, but I'll give it an ID called BTN because I am going to change a few things about that one. So now if I go back to my CSS, I can target the link. So I'll do dot link. And the first thing I'll do is give it a background of white, maybe a uh, some padding of 10 pixels top and bottom, 20 pixels left and right. So that's going to end up looking something like that. And then what I'll do is I'll give it a border radius of 20 pixels so that they're round. And then notice that there is like um, like bullet points. So the way to remove those, that's an actual um, list item property. So I would have to target the list item. So navbar.ulli. And then I'll do list style because currently it's set to have bullet points. I'll just set that to none. And that should remove the bullet points. And then to remove the, um, if I could spell it right, list style and then to remove the uh, links I would do over here to the links and just do text decoration set that to none and then to actually change the color I can do a color of black which is also an a tag property beautiful and then for the logo I'll go back to the logo real quick and give it a color of white all right, and then let's see. All right, maybe I'll change it back to black actually. So it's more prominent against the green screen. All right, so that's one thing. And then I could also maybe move the navigation bar a little bit more towards the left. So I'll go to the nav bar and do margin left, maybe 50, more maybe 45 pixels. See what that looks like. I think that's a little bit better. All right, and then the logo definitely move it more towards the right. So I'll go to the logo and do margin, maybe the same thing, 45 pixels, so it looks symmetrical. All right. Um, it's literally not even moving. Margin left. Oh, there we go, move slightly. All right, so that's it for the header. Um, I do need to do uh, the... Uh, hover effect. So when I hover over the header, um, so when the links have a state of hover, I want the background to change to hashtag E six times, which is kind of like a grayish color. So if now when I hover over, it turns a little bit gray. I'm going to go to my HTML and just change what it's, uh, what the links say. So this one can be like home, um, let me run that and see what that says. Or maybe just do like home. And then, I don't know, like tools or like our AI. And then maybe like pricing. And then contact. So it's looking like this. Maybe our AI sounds a little weird. Um, uh, I don't know, maybe like that. 
All right, and then the one thing left to do is get a font to make it pretty. <clears throat> so I use Lado. Um, I'm just going to, like the ones that I use are Robotus Lab and Lado. So I'm just going to copy, right, the link, which is like search it up, add to family, regular 400, and then Lado, regular 400 as well, and then selected families, and then copy the link, go to Replit, go to the head tag and just paste that in there and what that at what that does is basically it acts as your like citation so css when you like use a rule in css css is going to know where you're getting the font from because you cited it in your head tag so now i can use that css font family rule go to my css and then hmm, for the links just paste that in there um and then it's just going to change the font to be lato so beautiful and then um, the one other thing is, let's see, no, that's literally it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just don't know what the logo is. I'll change that later though. Um, let's move on to the showcase. So for the showcase, um, there's an image, which is, uh, somewhere here. Okay. The image, right. So the image, I'm going to give it a background, um, and I'll do URL and then I'll just do image dot svg because that is the image that i have over here and then if i run that i'm not going to be able to see it because i don't have an actual height and width for that image so what i'll do is i'll do height and i'll just kind of play around with it um i don't know some i'll just play around and do some random values and then see what that gives me and then also background size cover so that it covers the entirety of that, you know, of the box that I just made, like the 400 pixels for, by 400 pixels. Um, let me run that. All right, now I see it. So definitely could be better. So let me fix that. Um, okay, so I'll do, let's see, 600 pixels, 600 pixels. All right, is it like that? No, right? Okay. So with 900 pixels, that's too much. So how about I do 4 by 7. All right, and then definitely a height. Honestly, 7, 700, it needs to be bigger, but then oh, what is going on? How about I do contain? There we go. And then I can do contain and then go over here and say no repeat so that it doesn't repeat. Okay, beautiful. There we go. That fixes things. So instead of um, covering the entire size of the container, it's only going to fit so that it can, it, the whole image is contained within the container. So I'm able to see it regardless of the um, height or width. All right. So um, what was I saying? Okay, so let me just get rid of this height. Not get rid of it, but just make it way less than that. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move it all the way to the right. Um, so to kind of fix that, I'll just change its position in HTML. So where's the image? I'll just have this be after the content. All right, something like that. And what I'll do is We'll do the same thing. Um, because the showcase has a display of flex, I can just go to the showcase and maybe just do display, not display, uh, justify content and space between to put some space in between, um, obviously, the, um, the content and the image. Or not. Justify content space between. Oh, it's because I overwrite it. Whoops. Let me get rid of this. Let me move this here. I love that Replit actually shows you, like it gives you hints as to why things are wrong. Um, okay, beautiful. And then that works. Um, there's also another option because I don't, I don't want it to be so, how do I say it? So um, like that, like separated. So I could do, Instead of this, there's also space. I mean, I could do space. Let me see. Let me just kind of experiment. So something like that. Space around is good. Beautiful. 
All right, space around is much better. Um, now let me focus on the content itself. So the content, um, uh, I oh, it's over here. So the content, that's what it is. I'm also going to do doc content h1. Give that a border also so I know what I'm dealing with. I'm going to say pink solid. All right, run that. All right, so I want the width to be um, smaller so that the earn more goes up goes below. So let me do 200 pixels and see what that gives me. All right, beautiful. And then I'll probably have to change that because I'm going to change the font size um, to be way bigger than that. So let me do 50 pixels and see what that gives me. All right, so then as I said, I would have to change this to kind of be responsive with the font size. Um, definitely not. Let's do, well, first of all, do I like that font size? Let me get rid of the border of the image so I can kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at. All right, um, write less, earn more. I don't know, do I like that font size? I'm not sure. Um, what is the font size? Where even, okay, it's over here. I'm like, where's my stuff? Okay, font size, I had it at 50 pixels. Let's try 80 pixels and see what that gives me. I think that's good. So write less, earn more. And then for the paragraph, right? So there's a dot content P um because that's the paragraph and it's inside the content i'm also going to give it a font size of let's say oh, what font size would i give it maybe half of that so 40 pixels run that reload that is like not cool um maybe 35 pixels and i would also have to give it a width so that i like goes through so I'll do width and give it a width of 200 pixels and see what that gives me all right so definitely much bigger I think I want that way bigger than that okay beautiful and then let's see let me give it a border also so I can see what's going on here and run that what just happened reload okay so this is that and then um for the button is hashtag btn because i give it an id of btn and i'm going to give it the same background as um the color that i have here reload so that's good so i'm overriding basically the background for the link um let's see um so that's one thing and then definitely have to change the font size so font size maybe 20 pixels definitely way bigger than that maybe 40 50 40 pixels that's like so horrible um 30 All right, maybe that's good. I don't know if the button is too small though. All right, either way, it's write less, earn more, and then yeah, it doesn't make sense. I need it to be at the center. So the content itself has to have a display of flex so that everything inside the content is at the center. So I'll do justify flex and then justify content center. And then um, remember that flex direction, if I run this, flex direction is set to row. So it's going to move everything to the row. So I'll have to override that by saying flex direction and setting that the column so that they're all on top of each other, like something in a column or something like that. All right, beautiful. And then um, justify content center. And then let's do align items center. All right, beautiful. And then in this case, I would have to, okay, I would have to definitely make the width of the paragraph be less and maybe make the content H1 have a higher font than that. And then definitely give it a higher width then. 
write less, earn more, and then let's see. I don't want there to be a gap because I feel like there's a space, there's like a lot of spacing between the paragraph and the write less, earn more. So let me just try something real quick. Let me do gap zero and see if that does anything. No, so I would have to manually get rid of that spacing. All right, so we'll figure that out later. But um, I want the paragraph to kind of be the same width of the content, H1. So I'll just go back here and kind of play around with that. Um, I could literally just give it a width of 500 pixels and run that, and then that would look like that. Um, but I don't know if I like it. I really don't know if I like it. Um, so write less, earn more, and then what I can do is I can do margin. You know what? Maybe I can give this margin top, so margin from the top. How about negative 10 pixels? Okay, so margin top 20 pixels. I'm just gonna try to play around with this because I'm trying to get rid of that spacing in between because I feel like it's a lot that's necessary. Okay, so definitely like negative 20. There we go. Let me run that. Definitely much better. Really want it to be like really close to that. So in continuously doing this, even more, maybe like 80. All right, and then dip your pen in our in our AI tools designed to increase earnings of your writing, to increase the earnings, like what, sorry, grammar, to increase the earnings of your writing. Write less, earn more, dip your pen in our AI tools designed to increase the earnings. Do you know what? That just doesn't make sense. To increase your earnings, maybe as a writer, your earnings as a writer. Dip your pen in our AI tools designed to increase your earnings. All right, explore would be my button over here. And then I would actually, do I want the explore to be in the middle or maybe I want it to have a width of the entirety of the content container. So I can do hashtag BTN. Let me try with 100% first. And if that doesn't work, it's probably because I don't have it positioned relative. All right, it kind of works just a little override there. So maybe I'll do instead of 100%, I can do 90, or maybe it's because it has a border. So something like that, and then I would have text align center so that the export goes at the center. And then I would also, actually, I forgot to put the, um, oh, I think it's already like that, hold on. Interesting. So where is the, let me see if that changes anything. No, I think it's pretty like that. All right, so explore, and then let me go to colors and just go here and get like a sh shade or two darker. So something like that, go back, and then let me create a hover effect. So when, where is my code? Okay, when I hover over the button, so hashtag BTN hover, when I hover over the button, apply the following rule background and just put in this color. So now when I hover over it, it becomes a darker shade of green. Beautiful. So, um, yeah, that's, that's it. Okay. Let me just get rid of borders now. So I'll get rid of the logo border, um, get rid of the content border and then the h1 border and then the content border again i have the other content border showcase border and the border for the header and the key border for the container run that and this is it oh my god it's so bad now i have to actually put 
it's not bad. I meant it's beautiful. But like I was looking. Okay, let me rephrase. I meant this is so bad. I was like looking at this. Not the site is good. Okay, like I don't want to be like seem nitpicky. Although for the past few days I have been like literally everything is just a whole process. So dip your pen. Okay, this definitely has to be a little bit below. So let me go back into that. Um. What was I even doing? Oh yeah, the the, uh, the paragraph. Okay, so margin top, let me just move that to maybe 70. There's at least a little bit of space. And then definitely, um, I just wonder why the right starts. Is there a space? Oh no, it's because of the W. Um, oh, I forgot to use Roboto. Okay, let me do this. So I'm going to also use Roboto. Or Roboto, I don't know how to say it. I'm just gonna go to content and just paste that in there and paste that in there also. Um, well, family, okay, write less, earn more. Um, and then definitely I'll have to just change the width of that a little bit. So something like 600, whoa, not 5,600, 600, reload that, write less, earn more. And then that kind of changes things up a bit because now, um, let's see. Oh my god, do you see that? That is so unresponsive. That is horrible. What is that? I'm gonna have to get better at this. Alright. Um, write less, earn more, and then I wonder what to do with this here. Um, I'm gonna have to put the borders back up. I could just do, um, let me see, what can I do? I can go to the paragraph and then do margin, um, from the left, so from the left, negative 50 pixels, so that it moves towards the left, more towards the left, so how about 80, there you go. And then write less, earn more, dip your pen in our AI tools designed to increase your earnings. Um, explore. All right. I'm not sure if it's good to have explore. Um, our AI pricing contact. And then do I want to have this more like lower or... Hmm. I think it's fine. Um, and then just maybe a little bit more to the left, so like 83 pixels, a little bit more. Talk about me not being picky. All right, and then the explore button, I'm not sure if I want it to, if I just want it to be like not the whole width of the thing hold on let me go here get rid of this and see what that looks like but then obviously i would have to move it to the left um i think maybe i'll leave it because it's something different so what did i just do reload are you serious right now is this thing like frozen? This is not the time to freeze. Okay, reload. All right, although this is absolutely positively not responsive at all, um, it's visually pleasing, kind of, I think. Um, yeah. So write less, earn more, dip your pen in our AI tool designed to increase your earnings, button, buttons over here, and then the logo. I have to figure out a logo. Um, I think I'm gonna call it What's a good thing? Um, palette, pa paper, paper, paper like, paper sleek, paper chic, paper chic, pay chic, or writer chic, um, writer AI. What's a good name for this? Um, let me go back here, go to the logo, maybe something with like, um, Pen, 
Oh, Penai. Penai. Oh my god, Penai. Penai. That's a good one, I think, maybe. Um, so Penai, and then I'll also give it a Roboto. How do I even say that? Roboto? Roboto? Ra I don't even know. Style.css. So go here to the logo. Change that. I don't think it's saved. Oh, there we go. Penai. And then I don't know if I want to change it to white or black. I think I'm gonna leave it black. But yeah, okay, that's it for today. Um, it's absolutely not responsive. Um, I mean, kind of. It kind of is and kind of isn't. Not really. I don't think it's mobile responsive. Definitely not. Control Shift I. Um, let me look at responsive. Definitely not responsive. Um, I guess at this point, I would. I don't even know. Hold up, I know a good page, hold on. Let me look at Linktree's page. Nope, not my Linktree. Just Linktree. All right, this is, okay, let me see how they are responsive. What do they do when they shrink? Cause I know it's the same, kind of like the same thing. Oh, it goes in the bottom. Okay. So that works. All right, I could do that. Let me do that then. I guess I'll do that. Um, actually, can I? Yes, I can do that. Okay. Let me put a media query at the bottom here. So at media, when the max width is 800 pixels, um, what am I doing again? Okay. Um, I'm taking the showcase and I'm changing it so that it has a flex direction column. So when it reaches 800 pixels, it just goes to the bottom. So let me reload that over here. And as I do that, it does that, but then it's like so bad. So what I'll do is I'll give it also a gap of two EM so that there's space in there. There we go, and then reload. So now that happens, but then I notice, let me get out of here though. All right, if I shrink this, right, it keeps weird. Okay, and then this happens, and then I obviously would want to have that be bigger than what it is now. So let's see if I do this and then I do that and I shrink. I just don't want it. This would have been fixed. Hold on. If I had background, let's see if I go to the image and it had a background size cover, then it would always stay the size of the cover and it wouldn't change. But then yeah like that and then if i did that okay that's the plan but then i don't like that i don't see it anymore is that even supposed to be like that it's supposed to shrink i'm just trying to figure my life out right now like what am i doing let me go to linktree so if i look at linktree it's kind of like the same format and it shrinks but then let's see all right so that does that and then this does this so it shrinks and so that means that but that doesn't make sense so i guess it does make sense for them because that, that's what they're doing they're shrinking it and then even it, it still changes the size so i guess i'll go back to have it to having it as contain it just shrinks way too much though for me, which is a problem. Like, and it needs to be at the center, and right now it's not at the center. So what I'll have to do maybe is let's see the showcase. Where is the showcase? Um, align item center. I could just um if it's the image, I can maybe give it a position. What if I give it a position of fixed? 
right? What if I just do that? Oh, that's horrible. Um, yeah, we're not doing that. So, yeah, no. Although that would be, oh my god, this actually would be great if I didn't have text. Like, look how the, the, the guy's sitting on the button. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then, like, the line is over the thing. If it wasn't for, like, the big key thingy typewriter. Um, okay, let me get rid of the position fixed. I, if I have position fixed, I can't do this, right? It wouldn't make sense because fixed means not to move. Oh, it does make sense. Hold up. So let me do like a thousand fifty. Thousand pixels. What do you mean, bro? Hello? Okay, this thing just froze. Love that. So... Right, so let me just do 1,300 pixels. But the whole thing is, if I do this, I won't see it, which is the problem. Like, that's the... That's like horrible. So that's not a good thing. So let me get rid of this, okay? And then let me leave it to how it was so that it's contained and it shrinks, but I don't want it to shrink way too much. So kind of like when it hits here, that's where I just need it to stop shrinking. Um, but I noticed that it just shrinks all the way like the top left corner. I need it to be at the center. And I feel like that's not what I'm getting. Um... So for the showcase, let me look. How about, oh, I know, hold up. The image, I'll give it a display of flex. Hopefully this works. And let's do align items center. Why, can you please run faster? All right, let me see. Uh, no, kind of. Nope, still wrong. How about I give it a border? Because when you can't figure things out, give it a border. Black, that's not how you spell black. Solid. Alright, that's what I'm looking at right now. So when I shrink, it starts doing that because it's just weird. So what if I just... Oh, this is a problem. What if... It still doesn't move. So maybe this doesn't necessarily do anything, but what I could do is I can give it a position relative to in... What's what's relative to this? Image. Um, well, you know what I could do? I can do an image container. Let me go to my HTML and try to figure that out. So back over here, I can just go here and then revolve that around a div and call it class image container. that will instead have the properties of the image here. Um, let me get rid of this. Which would instead have the, would have this height and width, and then I'll do dot image, it was image container, and just put that in there. See if that works. That is literally the most horrifying thing. All right, um, that's just insane. I cannot believe I did that. Are you, like, serious right now? Why did that just happen? We love making mistakes. As Hannah Montana once said, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has mistakes. Alright, so, 
Oh, it's because I didn't give the height. Okay. See, okay. See, we're learning. Um, the height of the image, I don't know, bro, 100%, like, width, 100%, but then I have background size contained, so I don't think that's going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to give it an actual height. So, that would end up being, I'll do the same thing, 500 pixels, and then 700 pixels. Oh, oops. All right, and then if I do this, let's see. Perfect, but here's the problem. It's not really shrinking. Well, you know what? I mean, I, I think this is okay. I mean, at least it's, at least it's like visible, you know? <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll do Control Shift I and do a media query for like this exact position over here. So for me, that would be a thousand three ninety six seven whatever. So I'll go and do a media query for that, and then instead of eight hundred, I'll I'll do this pixels so that it happens when I'm hitting that point. There we go. So when I'm hitting that point, so if anything before, it's gonna go back. But if it's like anything less, it's gonna end up being something like this. All right, and then I don't know why that's happening. Like that little navigation bar bug thing. It's like weird. Um, let's see. Oh, nope, never mind. Close that out. All right, so even over here, I would have to give like a lot of margin so not margin wait hold up uh padding specifically from the top of like let's say 300 pixels all right let's reload beautiful and then i'll get rid of the border for the image if i could find it over here image container and then also this border over here for the actual image, reload. All right, so that's what I'm getting at right now. Um, so maybe not that much space is necessary um, for the margin. So let's do 250. Run that, reload. All right, and then I think that's okay. Right? It's looking okay now it's responsive. Now I can say it's responsive. Except that this happens. That's interesting. Hold on. Oh, I don't think it's because that's not even possible. What kind of width of the screen is 51 pixels? 656. It's interesting. But I do have that bug, which is really annoying. Let me open this on my phone and just double check that it's responsive. And if it's responsive on my phone, it'll be responsive on anything. Unless you have, like, an iPhone 4. Then, I don't know, like, I don't even know how many pixels in my... How many pixels? I mean, what's the width of an iPhone 4? iPhone 4 dimensions. Okay in pixels. <laughs> no, in pixels. Is that even possible to get the dimension in pixels? Like the iPhone 4 screen is what I'm trying to get at. Okay, 940 by 640. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's definitely not 51 like how I had it. Did I just close the thing? Okay. Um, so the most it could be is like 940. By 640. So this would be like iPhone 4. Oops, nope. iPhone 4 type of view. Is that really what it meant? I don't even know. Whatever. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm getting at right now. And then at this point, I think instead of having it like so, I want to just go to the content and then do text align center 
see if that works and if not I'll have to do it for every okay there we go that, that's what I wanted and then get rid of the um content key margin set that to just the margin from the left I think I did margin what did I do right or left I don't even remember what I did if it was right or left there we go um so I think that works a little bit better um for this case let me just do back into, oh, that sucks. Really? iPhone 12, 390 by 844. That's so weird. Why is the navigation bar like that? I mean, not the navigation bar, the uh, header. Let me go to the header um, over here, right? So it has a width of 100% and a height of 80 pixels. So maybe instead of 100%, maybe I could do 100 WH, which is the width, right, of the screen. There we go. So that fixes that problem. Um, but then one problem that it doesn't fix is the navigation bar. I don't know why that's happening. So what I'll do is I'll just go into index and I'm just going to take the easy way out and just get rid of our so that it's just AI. All right, so that works out. And then, um, yeah, so that's iPhone XR, iPhone SE, Pixel 5. Everything's all the way to the left, like what the heck? So maybe, let's see, this is so weird. Hold up, where is my indexation ball? So I have viewport with, No, that doesn't even change anything. This sucks. Um, like, why? Why does this happen? Like, the navigation bar, so the header, let me go back to the header, and literally half of my videos are just trying to get things done, like, responsive. Like, I'd be finishing in, like, 20 minutes, and then, like, 40 minutes trying to get things responsive. Um... Okay, so what was I doing? Okay, 100%. That fixes that, but then it doesn't fix that for this. Like, what's the difference, bro? Like, honestly. So maybe after, let's say like 400, maybe 500 pixels, I'll change the header to be a width of 100 VH. So I could do that. I could do um, media query for when max width is at 500 pixels then the header can have a width of 100 wh not vh sorry about that now reload that okay what now so header with 500 pixels let's call it obviously and then if i do surface duo oh it's because it's 500 pixels um i meant let's do 300 Or is it because Bro, I am so confused. Hold on, eight hundred. No, that's not it. I don't even know what to tell you. Let me do myself a favor and give it a header, <laughs> the showcase, so I can see what's going on. So border, five pixels, solid, black, what the, okay, this is what happens when I don't see what I'm writing. All right, yeah, that's not, that's not it. So maybe, um, Hold on, let me just try random things, because I know this is definitely not going to work. It's going to shrink. Are you genuinely kidding me? Hold up. <laughs> okay, there. That's what I was thinking. So it's only going to, like, 
take into that uh, I'll take that into account including the margin though I don't know so maybe the minimum width that it can be no I don't want that to be the minimum width um no I would need to set a maximum width so the maximum width that it could be 100% but then maybe what I'll do is I'll move it over here under showcase no I'm not leaving until I figure this out bro because this is like okay so let's see um so why is my header not filling or taking up the width of the width of the page or something or the container, whatever it wants to say? Like, I don't know what more I have to do, honestly. Position, top zero. <gasps> is it because I have to do left zero pixels? I did that. Okay, hold up. Um, let me go. Push my code. Um. All right, so. That does absolutely nothing. Okay, back to this. With 100%, margin zero, background, blah, 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 height, blah, blah, blah. Notice the hashtag before header. I've also corrected your position, absolute to position. Are you serious? Really? Hmm. The maximum width that it could be is 100%. I tried that. Literally, I tried it. Um... Not sure, just keeping that here. And then margin zero. Okay. Um position absolute. I spelled that right. So someone tell me what I'm doing wrong because I would love to know. Um Stretching the full width. You always know the inner of 10, which means renders on top of the header one. Is because you've assigned it as the index of 11, which is greater. What? No. Um. What? When the minimum width is 1,200 pixels, the minimum width preferably greater than or equal to width below. And have the width of the page. If the minimum width is larger than the width value, the behavior is more complicated. For example, suppose you set min width to 900 pixels and the width to 600 pixels. So the width is 600 pixels, but the minimum is 900, that doesn't make sense. As long as your browser window is wider than 100 pixels, the content displays at 600 pixels. As the browser size is down below 900 pixels, the content widens to 900 pixels. It appears to be full width. In other words, what? Adjusting the minimum width and width values. So, what okay no um no i did that already 
is it because of the margin that I set? Hold up. I'm going to just search where in the world I put margin here. So margin, margin lab has nothing to do with that. The logo maybe has to do with this. What if I get rid of that? Nope, that does nothing. Wait, if I add this, it adds more space. Okay, so what if I just do go to the nav bar? What if I get rid of this? Whoops. Okay, so then what I have to do is just do more of that. There we go. And then you're kidding me. Interesting. So the minimum width that it can be, I need the navigation or the header actually. Hold up. The navigation bar, not the navigation bar, the header. The minimum width that it can be is the min content. There we go. But then, when that happens, let me get rid of the, um, where did I put that margin? I think I had it at 45 pixels, the navigation bar. All right. Even now, it's, like, ridiculous. Like, what is this? What? Right, but that's the minimum width. Or is it the maximum width that I need it to be? What if I do, what if I go back and change it to be, no, oh, that doesn't make sense either. Um, oh, this is great. I could just, you know what I could do? I could go to the navigation bar and give it um, a width. Let me give it a border. Five pixels, solid. So I might as well solid. Black. All right, and then I could just give that a width of Eighty percent, and then go back up here and get rid of the headers, min width, content type of thing. All right. If I give this a width of one hundred W H. Hmm. Okay. Um, I can go and go to the header and do a gap of 2 EM. Whoops, nope, 2 EM. That barely does anything. Oh, you know what I can do? Um, how about just increase that? Whoops, I keep opening a new tab. All right, I'll honestly just do this until it's like fully. Let me get rid of this here. So the header should have a width of 100%. These do nothing. All right. And then this is a problem within itself. So for this, okay, it's working so far, um, but I would have to move it all the way to the right. So it's, what is that? The navigation bar? All right, so if I go to the navigation bar, 
I can justify content end so that it goes to the end. There we go. Um, and that works. And if I do that, it works until this point, and then that happens, which really is annoying, which is another problem. You know what I can do? Um, instead of having the font sizes, I mean, the font sizes are fine, it's just... You know what? I'm done with this. Most browsers don't even have, like, not browsers, most sites once it moves like this way they just kind of switched for the uh kind of like a modal what was i gonna do again um but i'm not gonna make a modal because i do not have time for that actually i do hold up do i want to make a modal mm, no i don't all right so i'm just going to make let me just do control shift i and figure out at what point this starts happening so for me I can't even move it. Hello? Let me exit out. Okay, Control Shift I. It's literally not letting me move it. Responsive. Okay, there we go. So, right here, right there, it stops moving. So, at this point, which is um, 942 by 640. So this is the width 942. So around 942, I'm going to just go down here. I'll get rid of this, honestly. 942 pixels. And then instead of this, I'll just do dot. Oh, maybe. Oh my god. Wait. Never mind. Um, I'll just go to the header. Increase its height to 100 pixels or like literally 300 pixels because oh my god okay not that much and now it's frozen again okay um how about 100 yeah 20 pixels all right and then I'll change the flex direction to column. Okay, and then Okay, so now it would be a good time to maybe top zero and try to see if that works. Nope. Okay, so that's going to be a navigation type of thing. I, this has literally never happened before. This is, like, crazy. So, navbar, margin, zero. Okay. Um, sure. I can also do navbar, justify content, start. Let's move it all the way to the left, so that's one thing out of the way. And to move it all the way to the top, I guess I'll just do margin from the top and then change that to, I don't know, 60 pixels. Interesting, is it relative to something else? I'll have to do negative, like, 160. Okay, I'll just keep doing that. Alright, so that's what I wanted. All right, so now it's looking relatively okay. And then at this point, so like 700 pixels is where things kind of start messing up again for the 5,000th time. Um, so 660. Maybe I could just give it a minimum width of 660. Um, let's see. Get rid of this border here. Um, at this point, things start getting a little 
weird. So it's 668, it's fine, but then after that, the header and everything else is just horrible. So maybe what I'll do is I'll do another media query. What a surprise. Okay, so media after the maximum width is um, 668 or something pixels. Um, I will make sure that, let's see, the content, H1, the font size, just decreases. Um, maybe, uh, what did I have it as? Okay, 70 pixels, let's do that. So it's like 10 pixels lower. It's not even working. Content, H1, font size, 70 pixels. Interesting. Oh, it's because I have it at. There we go. Alright, let me move it back to 70. Write less, earn more, and then fix that width. Okay, so let's fix that width um, of the H1. I don't even remember what I had it as. Let me do 300 pixels. That's so bad. 600. Needs to be a slightly different. 500, slightly different. I meant slightly smaller. Right, perfect. And then let's do margin, bottom, 20 pixels. Nope, Bar margin, bottom. Why is everything like, I do say something and it does the opposite. Okay, there we go because it resets, because I think it has to do with the margin that I wrote earlier for the um, paragraph. Write less, earn more, and then I'll leave it like that. And then the content will be margin bottom 20 pixels. There's space between the image and the button. And then the header is still a problem. Like, why does this have to happen? Um, like, why is this a thing? Honestly, at this point, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that. Why is the header like that? Like, it's just so weird. Um, I'm gonna leave it like that. The only thing I'm just gonna do is gonna do margin from the left, like slightly, like maybe five pixels. So it moves to the right a little bit right there. All right, and then yeah, I'm done. Like I can't do this anymore. I'm just so done right now. Um, I try my best, it's okay. Let me just delete the border. Delete that. Like that's it for today all I'm getting right now. Um, okay, so that's one more thing I have to add. So for the um, showcase, I would have to have like padding top of 50, maybe 30 pixels. Nope, nope, nope. That's too much. All right, something like that. And then also maybe the width of the header. Or not the width, the height could be a little bit bigger. Or maybe it's not that that's the problem, but instead I can do margin bottom so that there's some space between, you know, that. And then, yeah, I could do this. 40 pixels. There we go. Now reload, and this is what I'm getting. Um, and then, oops, I have to fix that. It's too much space. So let me go. I wonder why it's different in like Replit and then on the screen. It's just so weird. So padding top, let's do three 40 pixels. Reload, see what that looks like. 
All right, so that's still like a lot. So let me reload. All right, that's much better. But then over here, it just doesn't make sense. Do you see how it doesn't make sense? Whatever, anyway, I'm just gonna go with what it looks like on the actual you know, desktop where people are actually going to see this. Um, not that they are because this is not an actual thing, but yeah. Um, I'm done now, like, I think this is it, yep. I'm gonna go now, well, yeah, this is pretty much it. I'm gonna go now. Um, why did I say that twice, but whatever. Um, so I have navigation bars, picture, this, this, explore, pen AI, and yeah. Bye.